some of you already know, I left my previous company, Eatbook, around two months ago. When I finished army, like all my peers, I was looking for a university to enroll in. However, I only wanted to study filmmaking, which limited my choices. And because my portfolio wasn't strong enough, I ended up getting rejected by every institution I applied for. I was a little discouraged, and I ended up taking my friend's suggestion to sign up for an internship at the Smart Local in hopes of building my portfolio. I applied for a video producer position in the TVC team, but I got rejected yet again. The HR then asked if I was instead interested in joining their sister site, Eatbook, in which I responded, yes I was, and went for another round of interview. I finally managed to secure an internship position at Eatbook as a video producer, and with a little bit of luck, got offered a full-time position six months after. So with the full-time offer, I decided that I would put off my studies once again. I followed my guts, believing that I had much more to learn in the real world than in school. I made a lot of good memories in Eatbook. The people in my team especially made work so much more fun than it actually was. I went out on countless shoots, made many friends and was even given the opportunity to create content overseas. I was learning so much, not just about photography, not just about videography, not just about content creation, but also about the industry, about how the business actually worked and how important it is to maintain healthy relationships with the people you work with. I was and still am eternally grateful that I was given the opportunity to work in Eatbook. Fast forward three and a half years, I performed decently well and managed to even lead a small team of video producers of my own. And I felt like the team was doing great. But after some time, I felt stagnant. I felt like I was stuck in a bit of a routine. I felt like I have reached the peak of my growth in Eatbook. And I wanted to do more, I wanted to learn more. And it was during this period when I started to gain some interest in real estate since my family was looking for a place to buy. And then I thought to myself, where can I learn more about real estate in Singapore? After doing some research online, in August last year, I signed up for the real estate salesperson course. I learned quite a bit about the property landscape, laws, and other technicalities. And then I thought, maybe I might have a future in this industry. After completing the course, I decided that I would take the exams. This was when I made the difficult decision to leave Eatbook to make sure I had enough time to study for my exams. I sat for my papers in April this year and I had to wait two months for the results to be announced. It was scary knowing that I did not have a stable income anymore, but fun employment felt good. It's not that I didn't like what I was doing in Eatbook, but I just felt so free having no responsibilities again. So, during this period, I went on my first overseas trip in over two years. My friends just graduated from university and we decided that we go to Germany. The flight there was the most grueling 12 hours of my life, but I could say it was well worth it. We went from Berlin to Munich to Stuttgart to Cologne and back to Berlin again. Road tripping in Germany was so fun. Traveling at over 200 kilometers per hour on the autobahn, going up the highest peak in Germany, and getting to drive in the Nürburgring. I was glad that I managed to take this off my bucket list. Even though I had so much to do and so much to see in Germany, I couldn't help but to feel a bit anxious, anticipating when the results would come out. And just a few weeks ago, on the 9th of June, I received the best news I ever got in my life. Okay, might be a bit of an exaggeration, but I passed the exam. An exam with an appallingly low passing rate. Not bad considering I flung most of my papers in JC. So yes, I am now what you would call a property agent. It's a 180 degree career change and I do know that there is quite a bit of a negative connotation when it comes to real estate agents or salespeople in general. But I am excited to start on this journey with my team. As cliche as it sounds, I am truly passionate about real estate. I am looking forward to helping as many people make the right property choices, regardless of whether I have anything to gain from them. So 
If you have any questions or need any help with regards to real estate in Singapore, be it about BTO, resale or private properties, don't be afraid to contact me. Sometimes I do wonder if things would have turned out differently if I took the traditional route, if I went to university instead. But I can say I'm happy at the present moment and have not and probably will not regret any decisions I've made in the past. Eatbook and TSL has been integral in shaping who I am today and who I'll be in the future. I am forever grateful to my teammates, to my managers and to the people who have worked with me the past four years. So thank you for watching this cliche and clickbait video. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me so far and I'll be trying to upload as many YouTube videos as I can. So do keep a lookout. Bye.